This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! All right, you are watching Dice Commando. This is Swag Dean, and we're just chilling. We're enjoying some throwback draft experiences. We're doing the lesser played build a box draft. I've got a series going where I've been going back to the old FFG sets and building decks that have been very, very janky. And today we are on Across the Galaxy, which is one of my favorite sets. And I'm hoping. We will build something a little bit better than we've been doing lately. Uh, first, let's take a look at our legendaries. We got Vader's Saber. We've got Dryden, which is always fun and janky. BB-8, really good value. I would say in draft, he's definitely got to be in it. Uh, what am I missing? That is legendary. Jin is legendary. This Millennium Falcon iteration is legendary. Oh, and we got the Shadowcaster. Alright, let's take a look at our elites. I see some. Boom, right off the bat. Val is elite. Let's cheat this so it's easier to see visually. Val. We've got Boosh, who I have tons of rep with. I was a Padme Boosh player. Actually, I played Boosh with a couple of people. Wolf, Biggs, that's some of our Cody, some of our red options. We can run an Elite Luminara, and then this one, or not Luminara, Barris. Throw that one away, because we can't use three. We've got a Force Mystic. We've got a Knight Brother. We'll bring over our Jin and our Dryden. Alright, so if we got this box in real life, we'd be a little disappointed. <sighs> Shadowcaster was good for those. Well, the two TIE Fighters, they were they were actually a money card because you wanted all of them for the Swarm. Um, I was a big Iden Beckett player. That's probably the, the deck I have the most reps with in the history of Destiny. And um, I got Iden's Troid and Beckett's Gun. Neither of them. Uh, so, I like what we're getting for red. And I like what we're getting for yellow. All of these are, like, draft playable. And I hate what we're getting for blue. I just hate it. Traver Staff. Shatterpoint, which is just awful. Counterstroke, not great. This piece of junk. Uh, Chain Sickle, I guess, is kind of playable. And we have Vader Saber, but it's it's like all about modifieds if we don't have Vader. So, let's get into it. She's 12 Elite, 16 Elite, 2 for a plot. Or Val. Or do we go all in? Val, Boosh, all yellow. I mean, there's options there. It's more melee. We do have Beckett's gun. There's no base sides. We can bring big silly vehicles. Well, that's like they're not. It's not a terrible dice package. Elite Boosh, Val. So that's deck number one. Okay, <laughs> try, we have to try at least to think about this. Uh, so we got 15 points. We could do... Well, we could do Elite Val. I don't think a single... Jin and single Dryden's going to get anything done. I think we're going to want like an Elite. But Barris is still terrible. 
And we're not going to get her Padawan synergies. She's just an elite character. And we don't really have anyone cheap. This is not a great set for cheap. Nines. Yeah, the Night Brothers a ten. Foot is a nine. Yeah, yeah, nine. Paris is a nine. So if we go crazy yellow, if we go rainbow, we would probably take single vowel. Night Brother probably for the health. And then who was our best 10 cost? I don't get Cody's ability. Okay. Here's option two. Rainbow. 30 health. Val, Night Brother, Cody. I'm choosing Cody because of the base sides, the one, two, two. Since Biggs with Val, he just has one base side to marry with there. No base sides for the Night Brother. I'm just and we, we do have vehicles. We do have vehicles. It doesn't have piloting though. It's just you know some rerollability. That's one vehicle. I don't know. It's not exciting. Wolf good. Let us fix. But I think there's three base damage sides plus a resource. And then let's assume we get a battlefield that's worth the Cody ability. Let's let's pick that real quick. Feed. Gain a resource. Let's, we can do that all as much as we want. Uh, after an opponent plays a support, you may discard a top card. No, we're not building middle. We don't want any number of your non-unique character dice. We just have one of those. Plots. All neutral. I can get a plus one. We're light on neutrals. Playing vehicles takes control. And reroll a die. Not awful. I think we're feeding him though. I don't matter who we build. Alright, so Rainbow or Val Boosh. Let's construct one more. Is there any reason? I mean, she does have melees. She's on the same symbol, right? Yeah, so if we can flip him to his melee sides. We can flip her to her plus two. It's not like the worst thing. I don't have any neutrals. Yeah, no, no, I don't. All right, Dryden Barris will be our third option. And I don't know. I think Val Val Bush fumes the best to me. And I think that's what I build with. I take all these sweet yellows. Tilt take feed, I'm fine with that. Question is, can we get a 30 card deck? This build a box has not been kind. Active cruelty, love it. Long care with Robert Battlefield. Uh, cutting Ruse, that's playable. Uh, a temporary indirect is ranged. So Val has one. Do I have a ton of that in my... Falcon's got one. Shadowcaster's got some. 
No, it's not like... It's not an amazing ability. If it stayed out the whole time, I'd say yes, for certain. And we certainly got a whole bunch of those on the marks. Okay, every act of cruelty, let's take. Uh, Vow of Vengeance, sure. How much healing was in this set? There's no first aid. I said much healing. I don't think there's much healing in this set. There's no Dex Diner, it's the last set. Exploits removal. That's removal. We had those disrupts. They're they're out there. Uh, I'm not sure how much I want to balance between them. Let's play. We have vehicles. Especially the one of the big ones, Millennium Falcon, such like that. Exploit once again, any kind of removal, shakedowns removal. Deja vu. Maybe I have, I have like conditional removal, but if I meet the condition, I can double tap it. I don't have a neutral character. A lot of on the marks. Cutting rooms. Okay. Just didn't go well. <laughs> what? We did awful. Alright, we got to 11. With those, it gets to 18. There's probably a couple grays I could throw, but our deck would be just be too janky. I don't think we can do it. So, who do I like better, Boosh or Val? And then try to add some red. I like Val. Boosh. I mean, you have a decent chance to be up against Wide. And her special might just push her over the edge. She also has the extra health. I think then we bring in Jin. At 13, 16, we have one point left. I don't think there's any, like, useful generic plots of one. No, we're not doing that. No. We'll take a laser cannon. Alright, so we're at 12. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Set of chambers to fix stuff. Do we need black 2? We're gonna ponder you, buddy. <laughs> Let's add some red cards. What do we have for mitigation? Mods? How many mods do I have? Not many. Not enough to bank on it. I'm not gonna reliably control the battlefield. Aerial advantage is amazing, we'll take that. We'll take two copies of it. Um, let's removal. I don't have like, a devastating disc. Did Jen have that? No, she says ones. Vigilance might not be bad against certain hands. Okay. If you have more dice in your pool than an opponent, remove one. Uh, I mean, it's removal. It's deja vuable. Uh, 
Uh, not a ton of focus in there. Senate chamber is about it. I got a bunch of red vehicles. That's, that's possible. And yeah, it's, wait, what's this? Inflame. Turn them to damage. I don't know why I would do that in this format. So we'll take Vigilance. That gets us to 30. Take and feed. So Jin Boosh. With Boosh being elite. Jin messing with their hands. Hoping that destrands that modifier too often. Uh, Boosh can make money because they got to pay her off. Oh, I want vehicle. Uh, spot a villain card. How many villain cards do we have? We have Val Vengeance. Let's throw that down. Just to get the villain card spotted. We do have... Beckett's Rifle. Grappling Boa. Seeker Droid. TIE Fighters. We got a decent amount of stuff out there to make Boosh go. So we can get paid potentially there. So we'll make up for the lack of a resource side. Don't have scrap heap or anything great, but I think this would work. I'd have been happy if I had better yellow, but I kept my first pairing where I was two elites. But Jin's got good health. She rolls damage pretty consistent. To mess with their deck. This will work. Alright. Well, if you agree with me or disagree, make sure to comment and uh, like and subscribe. And, and as always, thanks for joining me and go Commando!